shrink down this chat box just a little bit. All right. Okay. So Mewtwo X obviously is different from Mewtwo Y. Mewtwo X have got the same moves, but they act differently. So with Mewtwo X, his future sight pulls him in closer so that he can do his melee damage for Mewtwo Y. He pushes him on the edge of his attack range. He pushes him on the edge of his attack range, right? So, so with Mewtwo X, his recover is based on how much damage is dealt to him. That's how much he gets healed for. For Mewtwo Y, his recover works. The his recovery depends on how much damage he does. So he basically gets life steal. He basically gets life steal. So you activate recover. But here's the interesting thing. You notice when it when, when if I just use recover, his mega gauge just goes up a little bit. Mewtwo X doesn't have that. So he can just go walk around and just fill up his mega gauge just by hitting recover. He ain't even got to be in no fight. He ain't got to do nothing. It just goes up by a little bit. Like I can just activate it. And it just goes up. Right? Okay. So we cut. So unless they change that, I mean, you know, this is him. I don't see them keeping that when he gets to the main game. But I will say this is still something to be scared of if they leave it in. So, of course, right? So, his future sight, like I said, it pushes him to the edge, right? And his recovery gives him life steal because it's based on the day. For every dam amount of damage he does, he gets healed for that amount. He gets healed for a percentage of that. Um. So, this dude is like a walking drain crown, but a better version of drain crown. No, I think his... His cooldowns are going to be the same as Mewtwo X when he gets released. Cause, but in the test server, this is how they are. But I'm expecting that his recover and his teleport are going to be uh, on a 10 second cooldown. So I expect that's I expect that to happen. So the same cooldowns that, if not more, because he's more dangerous. But th that's not the scary part. Oh no, it just pushes one target at a time. Just one target at a time. Um. Now, here's the scary part, right? His mega form does splash damage. He throws like miniature bombs out, right? Just. That's 2,700 total damage before his, uh, yeah. Yeah, so let's go with his other moves, right? Like, let's just see what his other moves. Let's see his other moves in action. Teleport. Now, his teleport. That's some good right there. Okay. So his, no, his future sight pushes him, pushes him to the edge of his attack range. That's his future sight. Um, yeah. So with Mewtwo X, his side strike is reduces the amount of damage. When he uses side strike, it reduces the amount of damage that he takes. For, for Mewtwo Y, his side strike gets stronger the further away he is from somebody. So, his side strike, you want to back up when you do it or move away from the target so it can get as powerful as it is. Like, if I do it from a distance, it does like 60, 63, uh, uh, 6300 up close. It does like 2600. So it does like a thousand more the further you the further away you are. It maxes out at at, at thirty six hundred uh, at three thousand six hundred fifteen. And up close, it just like does like a mere like damn near twenty six hundred. So you you pretty much get a thousand more for being as farther away as you can. So the idea for his side strike, you just want to back up and use it. 
Now, here's the other crazy part, right? So Mewtwo X, he does teleport. It teleports him, you know, in any direction, and, and then he gets a damage buff, right? Here's Mewtwo Y, right? Now, when Mewtwo Y uses his teleport, he still gets a damage buff. He still gets a damage buff, but I'll just show you. He gets two teleports. He gets two of them. He still gets a damage buff now, but he gets two teleports. So, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, he's a steroid version, um, you know, yeah, I think side strike and, uh, and recover definitely going to be the two moves that they use. So I know the cooldowns are going to get nerfed on that. Like they're they're at least going to be eight and ten seconds a piece, you know. So eight to ten seconds a piece, because when you give life steal, matter of fact, let me just let you read, like the user recovers HP based on the amount of damage it deals with basic attacks. So the amount of damage he deals with the basic attacks, literally. So if you do this and you go into Mega Form. you healing for all that all that assault is healing him while recover is active now in an actual match it might not look as bad as it actually is but looking at this just naked like no match or nothing like that this is some scary shit so when I see people complaining about Mewtwo X what you think this what you think finna happen when this come out? Five, four, three, I'm just saying, two, like, one. like like just imagine <laughs> Like what like honestly, like what people are like it's laughable that people are complaining about Mewtwo X. To me I do think they're gonna nerf him as soon as he comes out, because it's it's no way they leave him like that. If Mewtwo X look if if Mewtwo X is the weaker version of him, and Mewtwo X ends up getting ended up getting nerfed the same day, wh what do you think they're gonna do to the better version? Like you have to think about it like that. What do you think they're gonna do to the better version if the weaker version ended up, you know, what I'm saying getting that type of treatment? So either they nerf him before he gets released. Or he gets the same day treatment that Mewtwo X got. If not worse. Because it's no way they leave. His, if his recovery is better and it's based on the amount of damage that he that he does. That's going to get up. Like these two are going to get up to, to 10 seconds. If I can see them up in his teleport to like maybe 12 seconds, to be honest with you, because he has a better version of it. And I see his recovery getting up getting uh getting up to like 11 seconds because they can't just leave that like that like six seconds is too th that's that's too low of a cooldown for moves as good as this i don't know i don't know if they're gonna make another event out of it i mean i, I would assume so but yeah it's no way they leave this like this. It's no way they leave. And mind you, I got Silk Spoon on. That's that. That's on top of the fact that that it's doing all that. Twenty percent of that is getting ignored. Like twenty percent of that is ignoring. Like, like a good twenty percent of that is ignoring special defense. They said sometime mid August. They didn't give an exact date, but it's going to be in the middle of August. 
So I would assume like the second or third week in August in between that time. But yeah, this is a, this is what we have to expect, right? This is what we have to expect. So let's see, he capped out at what? 27,000? What's 20% of 27,000? Like somebody do the math for me. Like what's 20% of 27,000? It was damn near 28,000, but we're just going to round it off to 27. Like what's... 20% of 27,000. I mean, I know it's based on defense, but I'm just... No, not 20,000, like... No, 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 of 27,000. 20% of 27,000. I mean, I know it's based on how much special defense somebody has, but I'm just thinking about like, if the attacks I'm doing, 20% of their defense is getting ignored, I'm at least doing 5,400 untaxed, right? Like 5,400 of that damage is getting that's getting healed. That's him getting healed. That's him getting healed. If he got recovery active, that's him getting healed. Like, we really got to think about this. This is him getting healed. All that damage that he's doing is healing him. I have a hard time believing that he's not going to get nerfed either before or the same day. And I also have a hard time believing that they're going give, to give him to us for free. Like they did with Mewtwo X. I said this back on July 3rd. I said this back on July 3rd. When they first appeared in the test server, July 3rd, I said this. This was three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. I said out of Mewtwo X, Mewtwo Y, and Blaziken, Mewtwo X is the weakest one out of the three. Mewtwo X is the weakest one out of the three. The weakest one. Uh... Sire Boredom, you gotta Google it. You have to Google it. You have to download the APK for it. And then you're gonna need a VPN on top of that because it's only available in a certain countries. But regardless, I said this literally three weeks ago. Mewtwo X is the worst version of the, of the next three. The worst. The worst one. He's built... He's a close... It's almost like they... Here's what I think. I think they made Mewtwo Y first, and then they tried to design a close range character off of Mewtwo Y, and that's what gave us Mewtwo X. Because he kind of plays like shit. I, I know he's he has a good win rate and all that, but he but he pretty much plays like shit because he's a close range character trying to play a long range game most of the time. Yeah, side strike can like attack from long range, but you still got to get close with your special attacks. And unless you got like a healer on you, like Parasite, or maybe like a Clefable or like an Elder Goss, you pretty much like, you can't really take advantage uh, or unless you already close, you can't really take advantage of the fact that you just knock somebody up with, uh, with Side Strike. So it's kind of crazy you being long range with Side Strike and then you get close, you got to, like, run to him. Like, it, it just feels odd. And maybe I'm basing it off of me playing with Mewtwo Y and seeing how he plays. I'd much rather use Side Strike in a position where I can keep attacking from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, on Mewtwo X, yeah, Jay. M Mewtwo X. It, um... Side, I mean, like, Future Sight is better because he's a close-range character, 
But you got to understand that Mewtwo Y plays keep away. He plays keep away. And the further away he is with his side strike, the more damage it does. But like Mewtwo X only gets damage reduction. Yeah, like Mewtwo X only gets damage reduction with his side strike. Mewtwo X gain I mean Mewtwo X only gets damage reduction. Mewtwo Y gains gains damage the further away he is from the target. And his future sight pushes people on the edge of his attack range. His recover with Mewtwo X, his recover is based on how much damage is dealt to him. And for Mewtwo Y, the recovery amount is based on how much damage he deals. So he gets lifesteal on that. His recovery gives lifesteal. So if you use recovery while his mega form is active, all that damage is pretty much healing you until recovery ends. And then he gets two teleports that gives him a damage buff on top of that. Ain't nobody gonna be playing with Mewtwo X over Mewtwo Y unless they just can't get him. That's the only pass I can kind of give that. If Mewtwo X, if people still playing with Mewtwo X instead of Mewtwo Y when Mewtwo Y gets released, it's because they couldn't get him yet. Mid-August, mid-August, like some... Um, I can only assume sometime between the second and third month of, month in August. That's the only thing I can assume. But it's gonna be mid August. But um, but yeah, that's Mewtwo Y. He's a threat. So again, when I see people complaining about Mewtwo X, I I kind of laugh a little bit. When I see when I see people complaining about Mewtwo X, I kind of laugh a little bit. Because I know what's coming. Like, I know what's coming. So it's just like, it's just funny to me that people are complaining that, about how broken Mewtwo X is. Mewtwo X is the weakest one out of the three. Easily the weakest one out of the three. Ain't nobody gonna be playing Mewtwo X when Blaziken comes out. When Blaziken comes out, Mewtwo X is gonna get forgotten about. Ain't nobody playing that motherfucker when Mewtwo X, uh, when, when Blaziken gets released. And then even on top of that, you can't play with both of them Mewtwo's on the same team. Like, we can't play with both of the uh, Mewtwo's on the same team. So if one person picks Mewtwo X, nobody else can pick Mewtwo Y. If somebody picks Mewtwo Y, nobody else is going to pick Mewtwo X. But then again, why would somebody want to play with Mewtwo X when Mewtwo Y is the better version? Now, I think we're going to, for some reason, I feel like Mimikyu is going to get released during Halloween. Like, I feel like they're going to give us Mimikyu during Halloween. But, um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a scary time. I, t I told people, like, I was going to other people's uh, Pokemon Unite streams, and, I, and there was just one dude who, um, who was complaining about Mewtwo X, and I said, like, something about, are you ready for it to heat up? Because... This bullshit not going to stop until after September. <laughs> like once once Blaziken gets released, maybe the bullshit will go down. But we at least got all, all August to deal with this. For the rest of August, we're dealing we're dealing with this. Like we're literally dealing with this all of August. So it's only going to get worse from here until Blaziken gets released. Once Blaziken gets released, I think the bullshit gonna die down. But for the time being, yeah, this is it. So, yeah, like, get ready. Because it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get bad. <laughs> it's going to get bad. <laughs>